Okay, if you have the perfect wine opener, which I found out recently isn't so perfect because it easily fails, um, and you've tried to get a hold of the company, can't get a hold of them, go to their website, nothing there. Uh, you know, I wouldn't even bother doing the warranty thing with them. I mean, I looked them up on Better Bureau, and uh, it seems that they're um, they've had some quite a few complaints, but. I could be wrong. I don't know how many of these they've sold, but they seem to have some uh, some issues there. So, I mean, if they sold a couple million of them and they only have as many as I sold, then I guess that's okay. Um, but uh, I'm going to show you how to fix yours. If you're pumping it and nothing happens, it's actually pretty simple. I'm surprised uh, something like this isn't already online. And I guess I'll double check before I post this video, but uh, uh, pretty simple to fix. First thing you're going to do is uh, remove the um, the retention head here from the pump. What you do is you grab this portion of the pump here, you grab this and you twist it and it turns about uh, maybe 90 degrees and then you, you pull it off. And it's got two little knocks right here and here that go into the um, plastic portion here and you have to line that back up and my when you get to reassemble it push this back down this way put your rod through and line those knocks up with the uh, thing and it'll go in and then grab it and twist it back into place when I first did it it was uh, harder to do and I didn't realize that it would unlock that way so it's a twist lock and so once you do it a couple times it gets easier try not to do it too much to wear this out now if you're pumping it and nothing happens I fixed mine so it's it's working again if you're pumping it and nothing happens it means a seal came off the piston on the inside so what you do is you grab the end of this it doesn't look like it comes off but you twist and it, it starts to come off what you want to do you can already see the seal there so anyways what happens is this falls off in the end and it no longer pumps it just makes a uh, rattly noise so you've got this little guy here now mine has a piece of cat hair <laughs> anyways you want to make sure it's clean and once you've made sure it's clean you can remove the piston from it and you take the seal and you face it upwards it goes on like that and the seal edge has to be facing the opposite of the needle of the needle and then what you'll do is you get a little bit of I don't even know if this is the right oil or not but uh, I used olive oil and just put a tiny bit of olive oil around that and guide this down to kind of guide it in and you just pull it goes right in the end so essentially it works as a one-way valve it lets air fill back up into the top and then when you push it down that compresses the air and it has no place to go because the seal expands it has to go out the end so you also want to put a little bit of olive oil on this seal to make sure that it slips into the end of this uh, just fine and doesn't become damaged screw your end back on until it seats not too tight and then reassemble your head and you should have a working perfect wine opener I bought mine at a fair I'd seen it as a gimmicky thing online and uh, it worked once or twice first and then failed and I researched them and found out maybe I shouldn't have bought it but now that I see how simplistic the design is and uh, how easy it is to fix, maybe it's worth it. So good luck on fixing yours. I hope that uh, I hope that this helps some people out there, and uh, we'll see you later.